Hey everybody, Unqualified Gamer here, and welcome to another episode of 90 Shorts. Today's episode, we're going to be talking about uh, a movie that I've recently watched in the movie theaters. Um, caught the last bit of it, uh, me and my my family uh, went to go see it, uh, two of my sisters. And um, ooh, it, it, it wasn't, wasn't uh, on my cup of tea range, man, but hey, you know, it is what it is. So um, without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into this topic. So this past weekend, I went to go see the movie Bodies, Bodies, Bodies by A2, what is it, it's A24? It's, a, uh, it's A24 film, right? Oh, man. I don't, I don't need this type of drama right now in my life. Hold on. A24. Yes, it is an A24 movie. Um... I don't know why it took me that long to do. But yeah, we went to the movie theaters to go see uh, this A24 film, Bodies, Bodies, Bodies. And through the trailer, I was, well, look at the, looking at the trailer, I was under the impression that it was going to be a classic hack and slash with just dumb young adults uh, doing stupid things and pretty much getting themselves harmed or, you know, X'd out. Uh, but it was more of a murder mystery, which I have to like, look, murder mystery is still up my alley. I like murder mysteries, you know, um, you know, one of the most recent murder mysteries that I, that I like was knives out. And that was a good, that, that's a good movie. I highly recommend watching this movie. Now, bodies, bodies, bodies wasn't in my range. I didn't really care for the movie at all. Um, in fact, that's probably the first A24 film that I didn't really care for. Now, here's the thing. It's not the acting because I think the actors and the actresses in this movie did a really good job playing their roles. I think in this film, and this is just for me, I can tell that I'm getting old and by me, by, 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 by saying that, it's like, I am, am definitely getting old. The way how they're portraying these characters into a more Gen Z type of thing. And it, they're, those characters are just annoying to me. They, were, they, they weren't pleasant. And the one thing about a movie that is dedicating themselves to a murder mystery is I have to be interested in their characters. It's, it's got to be good character development, in my opinion, to make a good murder mystery film. This, these characters, they weren't hitting for me, man. They weren't at all. They came across as being very whiny, privileged, and because of those attributes, I'm expecting a hack and slash. Because that's, that's, that's what you normally get from a hack and slash. Somebody that is very narcissistic, somebody that complains a lot, somebody that's just... That's just outright annoying. And you don't mind seeing them get a bit of a stabby stab or something like that, <laughs> you know, but in this case, uh, it, it definitely wasn't in that realm there. The, the, the unalive scenes that, that, that happened in this movie, most of it happened off screen. So you didn't really get a chance to see it, which that doesn't make it bad but the characters weren't likable and none of them were likable. I couldn't have cared less for any of the characters in this movie, but I mean, that, and that's really boils down to for me liking or disliking this movie. Now to some people, this might attract some people. Now, like I said, it is a murder mystery. Uh, you know, I kind of figured out who it was and I'm not going to say who it is. I'm not going to give a whole sp I'm not going to spoil this movie for people who want to see it, but I will say this though is not, in, don't go out of your way to see this movie. And what I mean by that is don't drive 15 miles or don't go to a theater that you're not really comfortable going to. If the, if the movie is playing, this movie is playing in a very, like, you know, it's not playing in a lot of theaters. Now it's been in the movies for a few weeks. So, I would say wait until it hits the streaming service or rent it from Am or from Amazon Prime or the uh, instant video. Just rent it from them uh, when it when it comes around that that time. Um, but that kind of boils into the latest movies trends, and I'm wondering if this is the direction they're going 
when it comes down to horror films? Are they going into a more direction from making it more appealing to the younger crowd through Gen Z? And I'm wondering if Gen Z love likes horror films. That that that's something I really don't know. I'm not not really. I don't really know too many people that are in that generation. So I mean, like I said, I, and I'm. I'm not a person that like, I don't want to talk down on a generation because I feel that every generation have something better than the previous ones. So I'm not the type of person to sit there. It's like, Oh, my generation is the best generation. No, we all have our quirks. We all have our way of dealing with things. But at the end of the day, we are still an improvement from the previous generation. And always remember this. If you're, if you're doing this generational war thing, you know, if you're doing this whole generational war, always remember that the older generation is the one that raises the future generations. So if you're complaining about how Gen Z are acting, it's on us because we're raising them, you know, and the same when it comes to you're hearing, uh, the baby boomers complaining about millennials. It's like, Oh my God, millennials, y'all raised us. Just remember that you were the one who got Elmer Fudd off of air because he had a shotgun on television. Yeah. Don't forget. Iron. I know who you got. I know who your people are, <laughs> but nah, I mean, that's diverting to, to, to a whole different topic, which I might talk about sometime in the near future. You never know, you know, since this is a daily, this is sort of a, a daily type of thing, but uh, back on topic though, um, this movie here, bodies, bodies, bodies is not a go to the movies type of watch. Would I watch it again? I probably not. I think I had my feel of it because like I said, I wasn't really feeling the whole, I wasn't feeling the characters at all. And I really didn't care for them at all. Um, they, there was some slightly funny moments, but the, my majority of laughter was come from the disbelief of how stupid and idiotic, uh, things were happening within this movie and not even from a good standpoint. So, and like I say, it's sad because I walked into this movie knowingly that it wasn't going to be a great movie, but the fact that I walked in and it was even lower than what my expectations were, my expectations are already low and it just dropped even lower than that. And that's when I know it's like, Ooh, that's definitely not a good movie. Um, the last, like I said, before that I saw the invitation, which again, I wasn't really feeling that movie either. Um, but I went in there with higher expectations. So that's why I kind of give it. I gave that movie a little bit more flack than I do uh, than I do bodies, bodies, bodies. But overall, out of out of five, I'm giving this movie a two out of five. Um, it's not the worst thing since sliced bread. It's definitely not that. I'm giving it two stars because of the writing and because I really didn't connect with the characters at all. I really didn't, and I didn't really care about the characters. And I think it would have been, I think it would have been better suited if it was a hack and slash. But I'm not going to give it like a one or anything like that because I feel that the acting was good. I think the act, the 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 actors and actresses in this movie were fantastic, and I think they played the roles to to definitely to to that to that T. So it just I just didn't feel that connection with it though. But let me know what you guys think. If you saw the movie, did you like the movie or didn't you like the movie? And if you haven't seen the movie, are you interested in seeing in the movie? Just let me know in the comments below. With that being said, thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it if you made it this far. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, this is the Unqualified Gamer signing out. Peace.